to this. You've not lifted that oh. up before. No one's seen that in 190 oh, million years. Oh my word, look at that crinoid cup. Why that wash up a tree? Beauty. Well, here is a really nice find I made along the Jurassic coast. A uh, very large block there of those calcite ammonites, the ones preserved there in that limestone block. But today I'm going to show you a past fossil video that I made with Mike Harrison about a colossal crinoid that he found. And this colossal crinoid that he found, I filmed over a year and five months ago. So a really long time ago that I made the film. And the film that I made, I'm going to show you now because hopefully we'll be able to go and see Mike soon and see his progress on that colossal crinoid. So I'm meeting up with Mike Harrison today at Mike Harrison's Fossils on Instagram. And he's found the most wonderful fossil crinoid you could ever imagine. Here's just a fragment of what he is digging in a mudslip that is like soft cream cheese with special permission to do that work from the National Trust. There's no digging in the cliffs in situ, but look at this wonderful fossil that he's working on at this juncture. I'm gonna be showing you all of this amazing dig today on YouTube. This is a fossil crinoid, sea lily, it is also known as. Well, Mike's just gonna go home now and get changed and continue some work for this lovely crinoid material on the beach. There is a fossil collecting code of conduct along the Jurassic Coast. You can see that online. Yeah, it's a lovely piece though, wow. Right in that way. See the wood there. It's all layered. Whippy jet almost. Oh, she was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see my Whippy jet finally arrives on the Jurassic coast, not friable, not crumbly, and uh, falling apart. Clean this off. We can um, photograph it to get this. It's back together as virtual. Well, this video might actually help you as well because you can just screenshot it. Yeah. Well, I'll lift one or two of the pieces. You've got a real jigsaw on your hands here. I'll, I'll lift a couple of pieces now if you like. Um, so if you've got some pictures of this on Yes, yeah, I'll just turn it on here and just uh, steady up on it again. It's right up to the bag. Yeah, that's all in. The big pieces always go together easiest, right? Let's hope for some really nice details. What a treat to see. You've not lifted that up before. No one's seen that in 190 oh, million years. Oh my word, look at that crinoid cup. Why that wash up a tree? Beauty. Wow. What an astonishing looking thing. Tiny bit of sand there, a little bit of sand, the attrition of the sand and sea, scrubbing that wonderful fossil up. Wow, look at that. That really does show a wonderful crinoid cup. I thought I'd just splice this film in with the dig to show you how Mike will go on further to prepare this intricate fossil specimen with the use of different hand tools. Amazing, I'm happy yeah. that, that one piece alone. Really? Let alone, <laughs> let alone all what's <laughs> to worth, come. Worth all the work. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, put this one safe over here. Yep. They're gonna be the easy pieces to put back together. Look at that lovely um, imprint it's oh, left yeah, behind. Exactly. Well, I must take a photo of that. Yeah, exactly. Look at that print. Well, I can't wait for the next bit to have a look at the next bit, seeing something like that emerge. It's coming up. I'm going to 
head there. That other bit must be fantastic with the head. This is going to clean up nice. There's some lovely stems. stems there. Yeah. It'll clean up lovely, they will. Wow. What an amazing first sight seeing an actual crinoid cup come out being revealed for the first time in all those millions of years. Another Jurassic Age. We'll take the little piece out from the little uh, cheese wedge. Wood there, yeah, actually. it's the wood. Part of the wood, I wonder how that's got underneath. There's a little bit of detail showing there, so there could be a bit of a head there. It's just gonna be amazing when I when we see it all scrubbed up. That little section, yeah, got the little go. shard too. Always a job for willies. <laughs> Treat on this piece. It's a nice big thick wedge. I think we are. Yes, yeah, it's, it is there underneath. Wow. Just nice to have the mud on it, really, that it is so well preserved. It's stems in yeah, um, cross, the stems section in there. cross section there. And some of the crinoids come away, look, and um, mud's got between the two layers. There. Look at that, you don't see that often, do you? No. Split layers. That'd be interesting. So the um, beef has permeated the actual crinoid bed there and split the split it. But no, I, th I think what's happened is as it laid on the sea floor, mud's got between some of the some of the crinoids. Yeah, yeah. So that's the first bit of this uh, thinner section to lift up then, isn't it, Mike? Yeah. We'll, we'll do this little group here, yeah. all in one bag, we'll know everything goes together. Yeah. We've got a couple of photos of it. Yeah, I've took the um, photos from you. To aid, aid putting it back together, so we'll give this one a lift. Oh, oh, oh yes, oh, look. Yay. Look, at that's going to be beautiful. That primary cut there, lovely sway on it. Yeah. So, get this whole group in the bag. And, Nice lift on that. Wow. Let's have a look. Here we go. Oh yeah, there's some nice stuff on there. Oh, there's some nice, some nice relief, stuff. isn't there? Yeah. It's very oh, much I'll hidden, but it's definitely there. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. On the edges. Bagged up crinoid. 
ready to piece back together. There's this really good bags. Where do you get those from, Mike? Good sturdy bags. To good sturdy them. bags. Are they do the job. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm starting the video now. <laughs> the rest is going to get chopped out. I've got muddy face as well. No, you're actually you're really good. Um, well, I've sort of the mud pack and stuff. But, uh, <laughs> look at that with the, uh, with the boots there. And then the back of the sun is coming. But I don't think, if you're clean, tidy, there's no way your fossil hunting properly. There we go, head torches. Just a few bits of crinoid. And um, of course, uh, some skippers. <laughs> For lunch. An advert for John West there. Yeah, better not. Otherwise, I'll have to do. Um, we, we, yeah, what, why would we want to advertise that? <laughs> Are they nice though, Mike? <laughs> not bad. Yummy. <laughs> so as long as you don't dig in the cliffs and sit, you're allowed to take the fossils that wash out along the shoreline. The sea doing the work for you, and it was amazing to see Mike Harrison today doing the work out here, finding that crinoid, that exemplary piece of fossil material, absolutely stunning. And uh, what I'll do is show you some amazing fossils too, later on in my YouTube videos that we've both found, and we'll talk about those. So thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.